All right, so let's dive into the shader system within Mari 2.0. As you can see, I have my channels tab, which has my different maps, my color, displacement, and spec. So now I want to take these, put them into a shader to see how they're all working together. So before, as mentioned, the shaders used to be folders, but now the shaders are actually what we traditionally know as shaders, and they're basically a place where we can input maps to see how everything's working together. By default, you won't have one in order to do this, so you'll have to create it. And here's your list of different shaders. It's kind of in-depth um, explanation what each of these do, but basically... Uh, the, each of these options determine the type of diffuse and specular lighting used for the shader, as well as which set of shader inputs are available to you uh, based on what you pick. So if you want to create something custom, you have the option of creating a custom diffuse input and a custom specular input. You guys can kind of experiment with this on your own, uh, but for now I'm going to do something really simple and create a blend, like so. And from here, we're just going to plug in the maps. So there's my color dev. I'm going to plug in my spec and the bump. By default, the bump is pretty low, so I'm just going to crank it up. And in order to view this a bit better, because the color is kind of distracting, I'm actually going to go back to the channels. And there's this really nice new feature where you can quickly create a black, white, gray or transparent channel. And I just want to create a gray one. Uh, in the past, you kind of had to do this manually every time. It was kind of a hassle. So this is a nice new feature. So I'm going to go back to the diffuse color and plug in 50 gray. And now you can see a really nice display of the specular and displacement working together. So I like that they've gone back to the roots of the way we use shaders. It makes it a lot simpler and uh, easier to just kind of work. So just to note, the ambient occlusion uh, by default is on. However, it's strictly for preview, so it's not actually affecting your maps. Um, so let's go back to the color, and there you go. So this is a quick introduction into how we use shaders for Marty Puno versus the old way.